Hello again. Uh, Doug and I uh, are back here with the aircraft. It has now been 16 months since we coated the airplane. I just want to point out some things to you. Doug and I would like to show you. We polished these leading edges 16 months ago and I have not touched this leading edge uh, nor the aircraft. Just want to point out a couple of things. The gloss that remains on the polished leading edge uh, once we coated it, it has stayed that way. And the aircraft now has a additional 100 flying hours on it through all kinds of weather at altitude uh, up to above 40,000 and also on the ground on a very hot ramp. But I want to show you a couple of things. I just rinsed the airplane off or we just rinsed the aircraft off and I want to show you the beating on the aircraft. Uh, this is important not only I did not scrub this I just hosed it off and all the dirt went away but more importantly I'd like to show you how the water is beating and that beating it leaves no water spots none uh, so the aircraft doesn't have to be wiped off it will leave see how the, see what the water did look at that. it leaves no water spots which is important to me I think the only way you've cleaned this is just strictly rinsing it with water, no soap, no scrubbing, nothing. Uh, it's even holding up well on the exhaust of the jet engine, which we'll probably get around and show you a little bit later. And if you remember right, this paint job was pretty much shot. It was ready to go in to get repainted. Even the uh, de-icing boots are holding up extremely well, and they were uh, really bad, if I remember right, Randy. They were. They were starting to get pretty dry. And uh, interesting thing about icing, since we're talking about it, Doug, is uh, I noticed a characteristic of what the ceram lock does. When the leading edge builds up with ice, it still will build up with ice, but now it will build up, and because of its inability to adhere to the rubber, uh, it only builds up less than an eighth inch and then starts breaking off, even without turning the boots on, because it has no nothing to grab onto, no surface uh, friction or porosity in it. Uh, it's like the water beads not being able to stay on it. The ice can't stay on the leading edge anymore and it will build up very slightly and then just break off. How did that uh, work when you were, you were telling me a while back you had it up to Jackson Hole, Wyoming and you were, uh, they got in a plane and it was covered with snow and taxiing out? Go ahead and tell them that story. At, uh, I was in uh, Jackson Hole and uh, snowing and just taxiing out. Uh, it uh, was just short of freezing rain and snow. Nothing adheres to it. Start taxiing, a little bit of wind, all went away. Just as you see the, the water go away, snow does the same thing. Nothing will stick to it. And everybody asks me about this when I go somewhere and it's raining and they say, gee, nice wax job. I said, no. This is not wax. Oh, what kind of silicon wax is it? No, it's not silicon. It's a ceramic. Uh, people do not understand that this is not uh, wax or silicon. This is a ceramic, and that's what makes it different. That's why 16 months later, we're still looking at it beating as it is. Again, talking about the surface tension, this is why we've increased and have shown a performance increase over the 100 hours flown the aircraft now of why we have a performance increase. Uh, bugs don't stick to it, water doesn't stick to it, ice doesn't stick to it. The coefficient of friction is clearly lower throughout the entire aircraft and that's where we've picked up that uh, few percent of uh, performance on the aircraft. Uh, and Doug, maybe you want to mention something also. Well, I think one of the next steps we want to do is uh, apply this on some bigger uh, jet aircraft and try to uh, quantify exactly how much of a performance increase we're getting with it, i.e. Uh, reduced fuel consumption. But clearly, uh, I would say uh, owner could expect at least an 80% reduction, maybe more in cleaning costs, which is huge. But uh, just the way this thing looks is outstanding after 16 months. And again, uh, one of the reasons for making this video, it doesn't matter uh, what one says, it doesn't matter what one believes, it's what it does that counts. And this is the bottom line of it after 16 months. 
for you to see just by spraying water on it what it does and uh, well this has also been in a lot of salt air environments uh, but rainy flies over near the Bahamas quite often with this and of course we're right next to the ocean uh, just want to point out too the intake was also done 16 months ago uh, when we polished it and coated it uh, it's had a hundred hours of flight time on it and through rain snow up to altitude at 50 below down on the surface and uh, hot surface and that's how it looks 16 months later.